It's a very common requirement in Power Automate to create flows that update the status of documents inside of document libraries, and they are very easy to build. If we take a look at this one step flow, which will update the status of this document. I'll just change it from pending to approved. We'll see that it runs no problem at all. The problem is if that file is in use, this just crashes straight away, which I'll just demonstrate quickly. So I'm, I'm in here. If I run this flow again, we'll see that it falls over straight away with this HTTP error 400. The file is locked for shared use. So we need a way to be able to perform this action without the flow crashing. And it is actually quite easy to do. So I'll leave the document open so we can see how it works. Here is a different flow, but it's not all that different. It's got a variable at the beginning, a Boolean type, which is called document locked, which is set to true at the beginning of the flow. Then we've got an integer called delay seconds, which is initialized to the number one, and then a do until loop. Now the do until loop runs until document locked is equal to false. Now the first thing it does is attempt to do the same operation, update file properties, which would fail under normal, which would fail with this document open. And then it updates the value of document locked. And it uses a condition to do that. So if we have a look at the condition, what it does is checks the output of the previous step to see if it is both status 400 and the error message contains the word locked. The reason it uses the AND condition is because 400 is quite a vague HTTP error message and it might not be that the file is locked, there might be some other error. So if both of those things are true, um, then document locked gets set to true and if they're not, then it gets set to false so we know the document isn't locked. This is configured to run whether or not update file properties were successful or if it failed. So that's what stops the flow from falling over. And you can see here I've got this post message as the flow bot. I'll show you what that does in a minute. And then it adds 60 seconds to the delay timer so that um, the, the wait time in this delay is increased. So if the document is locked, the wait will go 60 seconds, 120, 180, waiting for a spot where the file isn't locked anymore. There is also a condition here that basically says, if the document is locked, then use the value of delay seconds. And if it isn't, just delay for one second only. In fact, that comment there is wrong. So that's how that works. So if I run it now with the document still locked, you will see I will get a message from the flow bot to say document locked. And I'm just using that as a debug tool so that I can see what's happening inside of the loop because you can't see that while it's running. So if I now close this, it will be in its first iteration of its loop. And when it gets to, well, in fact, it will be 61 seconds, the file will have freed up and then it will um, be free to carry on with the remainder of the flow. And we'll see that any moment. Okay, so here we see the second iteration of the loop happened and document locked was equal to false. And then the flow completed successfully. So we have a look at the first iteration. Document locked was equal to true. Then I closed the document and document locked became false and the rest of the flow continued. So it's quite an easy way to work around that problem and it doesn't take very long. You can build that quite quickly. So I hope this helps if you've had this problem and um, let me know in the comments if you need any more help with it. There's also a blog post, which I'll link in the description, 
which has all the information that you need on the expressions for the flow.